In this example, we need to multiply and simplify when I have the quantity 4 plus the square root of 7 times the quantity 8 minus 5 the square root of 7. So when we see two binomials like this multiplied together, we're going to use the FOIL method. So F stands for first. So I'm going to have 4 times 8. And this time I'm going to write in one extra step that I normally don't write in, just to explain everything that's going on. So outer, O stands for outer, so I'm going to have plus 4 times negative 5 the, times the square root of 7, plus my inner term, which is the square root of 7, times 8, plus my last terms multiplied together, which is the square root of 7, times negative 5 the square root of 7. Now we need to simplify our answer. 4 times 8 is 32. Here we have 4 times negative 5 times the square root of 7. So I'm going to multiply 4 times negative 5 to give me negative 20 times the square root of 7. Plus the square root of 7 times 8 we normally write as 8 times the square root of 7. And then our last term, we have the square root of 7 times negative 5 times the square root of 7. So I'm going to write my negative 5 first multiplied by the square root of 7 times 7 is 49. Remember, the square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is the square root of 7 times 7 is 49. So lastly, can we do any more simplification? Well, we have 32. Is this radical the same as this radical? Yes, they're both the square root of 7. So I have like terms. Negative 20 plus 8 is negative 12 times the square root of 7 minus 5 times, what's the square root of 49? 7. So I have 32 minus 12 times the square root of 7 minus 5 times 7 is 35. So 32 minus 35 is negative 3 minus 12 the square root of 7. Unlike terms can't combine. That is my answer. One last thing I wanted to remind you, we normally don't write this step. We normally go from foiling and write out this step immediately.